so today we are going to learn about the most common questions seven most common questions that are being asked in applications of trigonometry the first type of question that we commonly see in application is the one with the slide now the question is the slide of height 3 meters makes an angle of 60 degree with the ground so find the length of the slide so this is a fairly simple question where the hypotenuse is the slide okay and it forms a single right angle triangle where one of the angle is given to you and the height of the triangle is given to you so you can solve this sum very easily if you use sine 60 degree that is height upon hypotenuse you will get the answer so this is uh, one of the most easiest uh, type of questions that are being asked in application of trigonometry and the second type of question that are asked is where there are two triangles involved remember uh, the difficult one questions are the one where there are two triangles involved so this is one of the example there is a lighthouse in between and there are two ships on either side and the angle of depression for both the ship is 30 degrees and 60 degrees and the height of the tower is given to you now this kind of question is a little different from the first type because here two triangles are involved so you have to solve both the triangles one by one and find the base of both the triangles and then add it up so that you will find the distance between the two ships you can see there are two triangles over here okay the one on the left side and the other on the right side so the figure that you will draw in your answer sheet will be something like this so there are two angles 30 degree and 60 degree are outside the triangle you can bring those two angles inside the triangle by using a property called alternate interior angles if you use alternate interior angles those angles will come inside the triangle and now you can concentrate on each triangle one by one first you have to solve the green color triangle that is a m b here angle is given to you am is 100 meters so you can easily find bm with 1030 and then you have to solve the red triangle use 1060 you'll get mc and then you have to add both the sides bm and mc so you'll get bc which is the distance between the two ships the third type of question that has been asked is where again there are two triangles but one triangle is over the other like in this case, the uh, angle of elevation of the top of the statue and the top of the pedestal is given to you, okay? One angle is 30 degrees and another angle is 60 degrees. So both the angles have been given to you. And again, you can see there are two right angle triangles involved in this. There are two right angle triangles. So one triangle is the white one, the white color right angle triangle which has an angle of 30 degrees and the other triangle is the red color triangle which is a bigger one okay and both have the same common base in this first you solve triangle a c d using 1060 degree okay and then you have to solve the smaller triangle in triangle b c d there you have to take 1030 since both the triangles have common base you will have to substitute the value of cd from one triangle into the other triangle you just have to substitute and you will get the answer so these are the two triangles with common base now the fourth type of question that has been asked is where you have two poles or two trees of same height and uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the two trees from a point in the middle is let's say 30 degrees and 60 degrees and the height of the trees is not given to you so see there these are the two triangles this the sum is regarding two triangles but they don't have a common base so you can easily solve one triangle at a time the total distance is 100 meters so you take one distance as x meters and the other distance as 100 minus x meters solve both the 
triangles individually, but the height is same. AB is equal to AD. So you can substitute the value of AB and ED and then you will get the answer. So the next type of question that has been asked is the question number five, the type five, fifth type of question. In this kind of question, mostly there is a tower and there is a moving car. A car is coming towards the base of the tower. The angle of elevation of uh, from the first car to the top of the tower is 45 degree and then it increases to 60 degree. So again, in this kind of question also, there are two triangles involved, okay? And they have a common height. This time they have a common height. AB is common and AB is given to you. So again, solve first triangle ABC using 1060, you will get BC. Then solve triangle ABD using 1045, you will get BD. And what you have to find out is DC. So if you subtract B, uh, BC from BD, you will get BC, you will get DC. So that is how you solve the sums. This question has uh, common height, okay? The previous one had common base. Now type six kind of question is where you have two towers. One of the tower is of greater height and the other tower is of a smaller height. And the angle of depression of the top and bottom of the building from the top of the tower is given to you. Now again in this kind of question, there are two triangles, but there is nothing in common in between, okay? Don't worry about those angles of depression. You can bring it inside the triangle by using alternate interior property. But see, this figure will look something like this. So here you have to consider that ED was the height of the building and which was 100 meters. So ED will be equal to BC. Okay. If you see BEDC is forming a rectangle. So opposite sides are equal. So you will substitute the value of ED with BC. You will have to substitute the value of CD with BE and solve both the triangles. There are two triangles given to you. You can have to solve them individually and you will get the answer. But this is how the figure will look like when you have two towers of different heights. One is shorter and other is the taller. Okay, the next type of question that you usually have is type 7 which is the last type and where you have the height of the person also given to you this question is a little bit different because the height of the person is given which is 1.2 meter and the height of the plane above the ground is also given which is 81.2 meter the only thing extra that you have to do in this kind of question is you have to uh, subtract the height of the person 1.2 meter from the height of the plane okay so you will get the height ab and fg as 80 meters in both uh, these diagrams you can see both the triangles ab and fg are equal so again there are two triangles involved so you have to solve each of the triangle individually and then substitute the value you will get what you require in this question you have to find bg that is the distance traveled by the plane. So you'll get EG, you will get EB, you subtract, you will get the BG, which is the distance traveled by the plane. So these are the most seven types of questions that are being asked. Remember in this chapter, the figure is very important. If you could draw the figure, the calculation part is very easy. So that's why I have limited this video only to the to understand the figure, what kind of figures come in the exams, okay? I have not tried to get into much calculation. That is that you can do, that is very easy. But these are the seven figures mostly being asked. And if you know them, you can have a grip over this chapter. So that is, that's it guys. If you like the video, you please press the like button. You can subscribe to our channel, The Kiransa. You can visit our website, thekiransa.com thekiransa.com without any space so thank you thank you very much thank you for watching the video till then goodbye god bless you